So, I'm a northern lad, Yorkshire, born and bred, proud. Sheffield, Sheffield Steel, on the eve of the millennium, yeah? Stun on RSVP door in Sheffield, bouncing. Who'd have thought, less than 18 months later, I'd be working in the private sector as a prison officer. Who'd have thought, just over 20 years later, I'd be branded a far right going to talk about Scottish hate speech, hate laws. But who'd have thought it? Me, traditional family values, respect your elders, you look after women and children, remember your manners, all that good stuff. Treat and speak to people how you want to be treat, treated and spoke to this end, yourself. So we had the Irish hate speech. At least the Irish hate speech laws have got a definition of hate. Wait for it. Hate is hate. Amazing. Scotland are bringing theirs in. Yep, the police are having special training. Wait for it. When's the hate speech laws come in in Scotland? The hastily rushed through, the poorly written and transcribed, taking the pish. I believe you say, up north in Scotland, out of the British public. April the 1st, we're bringing them out. April Fool's Day. So the Scottish police, I've been privileged to see some of their fantastic training videos. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're from this country, little cartoon videos about hate. So a couple of weeks ago, we had the hate monster. This little red creature that grows as the hate grows inside you. And you're warned that letting that monster out can get you locked up. Yep, get you locked up. And guess what? Scottish police have also been advised to look at entertainers. You heard me right, entertainers. I'm not talking about hate preachers, which in my head I'm thinking new hate speech laws to deal with the rise of extremism, hate preachers. No, no, no. We're now looking at maybe actors, but definitely comedians. Now, it's a good job that beautiful place in Scotland, Edinburgh, doesn't hold, doesn't hold a fringe event where comedians may well go. A comedian, yeah? Someone who uses the best ones for me, current affairs, yeah? And they make them funny, real life shite, yeah? Things that are happening in the world, they make them funny. Now me, if I was gonna see a comedian, I'm not seeing a random comedian, there's ones I like and ones I don't like. Don't means they're not good, somebody will like them. However, are you gonna be appearing in Edinburgh? An Englishman, an Irishman, a Scotsman and a Welshman walk into a pub. Not a chance am I going to utter them words. And what happens over the border? What happens if a Scottish person sees me, a Yorkshire lad on Facebook, telling a joke they don't like? Will the Scottish police be contacting my local, West Yorkshire, they're good at that, Really good at turning up with social media posts and the like and feeling my collar as it were. You really can't make this up. You really can't. So, main man, the unelected Scottish dude, has a lot to do with Scotland's new poorly written, poorly thought about, poorly legislated laws that are coming in on April the 1st. No misogyny in there, is there? There's nothing about misogyny. We all know what misogyny is, don't we? Wonder why that is. That's gonna be a little surprise probably later in the year. We can guess where that's going. So yeah, in your own home, you are not safe. If someone is hurt or offended, and it's about time the British people as a whole, because me, yeah, I can take it. Someone's having a go at me. I can give it out and I can take it. You need to get a bit tougher 
hurty words and hurty feelings shouldn't be dealt with by the police. Man up. Can I say that? I'm not quite sure. Probably not. Far right extremism. It's about free speech, guys. So, Islands X, Leo, go before I'm pushed or kicked to the touch. Vanakar, Vanakar, or whatever he was called, has gone. Down to personal problems. Some might say he's a globalist, part of the World Economic Forum agenda type person. Maybe, maybe he'll get a job with the ex-New Zealand Prime Minister who's now working for Tony Blair or someone similar. JK Rowling, living in Scotland, has said she will continue to speak truth, facts, facts, science, and biologists shall talk about them things. And the Scottish bobbies can gladly come and put her in cuffs. Yeah? She has the money, she has the following to take these people on. And they need taking on. It's not about extremism, is it? Or hate, or preachers, or anything like that, that are a concern. You know, that's what people are worried about. It's about making jokes. People being offended, hurt feelings. Like I said, nothing in there about misogyny. We know where that's going. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what it's about. For me. Not them. It's about damaged youths. Z, The most damaged bunch of individuals on the planet. We, not we literally, me and you have played with their heads. Expectations high. They're not in the real world. They can be anything they want to be, allegedly. They're not in the real world. They are damaged goods. We're preaching to them about the planet burning itself up and God knows what else. We need to help these kids not go against true facts, biology and science. God bless you all. If you would like to become a channel member, link is in the description. Thanks for coming from me and main man Stephen. He's a beaut. I'll see there.